Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing a game called Wick. This game actually came out a fair few years ago, and it's kind of a cross between Five Nights at Freddy's and Slenderman in terms of how the gameplay is made up, I believe. Haven't actually played it myself, but a lot of you guys have been asking me to play this game, so I thought, you know, after all this time, why not go back and check it out for the first time myself? And then once we've completed it, this game actually has a pretty good story, I've been told, so I might do a story explained video, perhaps a theory video on it, something like that. But for now guys, we're actually going to dive into a new game and do a playthrough. This may be a two or three part playthrough as I've heard the game is around an hour long to get through. So with that said, let's dive in and see what Wick is all about. 11.45. Teenagers enter the woods. One is blindfolded. They are playing Wick, claim missing children haunt the woods and can be seen by candlelight. Hmm. So only seen by candlelight then. And we're entering blindfolded. I'm guessing that's why the screen's dark. Yeah, I've heard the story. No, it's true. It was a long time ago. The house burned down. The parents died, but their kids' bodies were never found. Dun, dun, dun. Guys, stop. You're creeping me out. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'm serious. Get a broom. Those kids used to play in these woods, but one by one, they disappeared. People used to come up here and leave stuff in case the kids were still alive. They left candles burning, but the candles moved in the Stop night. Stop it! Nobody would let their kids come up here after that. Like that guy last year? Like he didn't just skip town or something? Don't tell me you're buying this. No. I know one of the kids he was with. They were up here playing Wick too. For real? Would you calm down? What was that? Someone's out there. Can we go back now? Quiet. Please? We're here. Don't take the blindfold off until we're gone. Good luck. See you at 6 a.m. If you live... So we're playing a game called Wick in this game, uh, which is why it's called Wick by the sound of it, and all our friends have like left us behind, I think. It says teenagers leave friend blindfolded and the gate locked. They plan to return at 6am. Ah, oh, here you go, so it says personal effects collected, game rules and backpack contents entered into evidence. Okay, right. So we're starting at midnight, of course. I'm guessing we're going to take our blindfold off first, so we can actually see what's going on. And here you go, guys, we're in the game, as you can see. Controls are very sensitive. I might slow that down a little bit. That's a little better. It's still quite uh, quite quick. All right, let's pick up the candle. Here we go. We've got a candle and we've got a picture. Stay in the light. Is it like Slenderman where I collect the pages? So we've taken the notes. Stay in the light. We've got another one here. This is like the tutorial basically, isn't it? Don't think, just run. Okay, so we'll take that. That's a monstrous looking child with a mask. I'm guessing that's what's going to be chasing us pretty soon. These woods are uh, pretty creepy. It looks a lot better than the old Slenderman game, that's for sure. What's this? Oh, look, there's a mask. Actually, like, in this sort of clearing against an old fireplace. There's a candle here. Can I take that? Transfer the flame. Oh, it's like a new candle, I see. There we go. So, this is the mask here. Are we meant to do something with it? Maybe just collect it? It's full when the bandages come off. What the heck? He said it's fun when the bandages come off? How do we run? Oh, we can run like this. So now we just survive, I'm guessing. Against this kid, right? In the woods. I always uh, do this, I always kind of get a little bit sort of scared and forget what I'm meant to be doing. Because these woods are awfully quiet. Let's head over to this um, kind of old, looks like an old school bus or something, doesn't it? Anyone out there? It's too quiet, guys. I don't like this. Let's go inside this bus. Just some leaves in here. It doesn't seem like there's anything we can pick up. It's a name, Tim, on the seat. Maybe that's the boy whose mask we found. Oh! Okay! Let's get out of here, guys. He's gonna know exactly where we are. Camp, this way. Okay, let's go to the camp. I don't think I can. I've just put the candle down there. I don't think that did any good. I don't know why he stuck the candle between the sort of fence posts there, but 
you know, who knows? What's that? Is that blood? As I approached that tree with a blood mark on it, some ominous music started. Stay in the light to reduce fear. Okay, well, how do I... How do I light a candle? Okay, do I have... One? But what the heck is that? Okay, that is, that is, that, that is the child in question. I'm going through this school bus. I think this is a different one, right? Oh no, it's the same one with a tip with a name Tim in it. Light a match, light a match, light a match. Gotta find a new candle. I feel like we need candles. Okay. Okay, that was not what I was expecting to happen there. Oh, here we go. Light the candle. Seriously? You couldn't have just lit it with the end of that match? How wasteful. I've only got two matches now. Can I not, like, get more matches? What is my objective here again? Just survive? Am I meant to be collecting the pages? I, th I think I am, right? What the heck is happening now? Did I just... Did he just teleport me? Is that what just happened? The screen kind of wobbled and waved. That was weird, guys. So, like, I'm really confused at the moment. I know that I have to survive until 6. That is the main objective of the game. What the heck is that? Oh, he's coming for us. Just as I was finding a new area that I wanted to explore as well. Um, okay, we've, we've, we've got away from him. I think we can go back now. I think you just outrun the kid once you've outrun him. He disappears and you can sort of make your way back safely. I just really wanted to investigate this strange rock formation, you know? Oh, he's just come out from behind it again. There you go, we've got... Oh, what's this? It's like an animal. I'm coming, honey bunny. So it's a little bunny rabbit, stuffed bunny rabbit. We've got a dog barking now. Should we take this candle? Should we, like, transfer our... Wait, did we just hear a dog getting killed then as well? Out in the woods? I think we did. I feel like I'm missing a lot of important stuff that I'm meant to be picking up here, guys. Also, I've got no indication of how long, you know, how much time has passed. Like, I don't know where in the night we are at the moment. Okay, there he is. He just fell out of a tree. Completely normal behaviour. I've got a bridge. Now this... Looks like something that I can maybe use to escape. Got another candle there. Another candle here. Surely... I just don't know where it wants me to go. Surely there must be something more to this than just getting these candles and escaping the child. I'm going to take this candle. I'm going to light it. Ooh, I think we've survived. First hour, achievement unlocked. Private property? Wait, someone actually lives up there? What are they, like a thousand years old? Here's two bucks for a new padlock. Can I go now? Hmm, so we had a bit of story information there. And now it says 1am, archives reveal old pioneer site within the woods. Homestead burned down in 1924, so I'm guessing that's where we found the mask, the little homestead that had burned down. Family listed as dead, but children's bodies were never located. Field officer interviews local residents. News article 3 and photograph 4 entered into evidence. So I'm guessing we can like look at this evidence and like go through it to pick out the story stuff, but I just don't know where we go to to like do that. The first night wasn't too hard, and I believe like perhaps all we need to do is just survive, like literally, maybe against a different monster each night, perhaps like once we've activated one, that's always there in addition to the new monster, I'm not sure. So we've got another note here guys, and this one says, stay away, and it looks like it's some kind of rabbit 
creature on there. Or stay away from her, so it's a female character, a female child. A female child, a little girl, I should just say. What a weird expression that was. Oh, so what's this? It's like a... Dog's... Is that the dog skull? We heard the dog being killed. Oh man, that is not nice. Or is that a rat? It's a little girl that kills animals, either way. Oh my god, what the hell? I have no sympathy for people that are cruel to animals. Horrible. But she just flashed on our screen. We just stay away from her, that's... It, we, it just told us to stay away from her, right? Go away. And I'm quite happy with that, you know? I'm, I'm happy for us to stay away from this ghostly girl with rabbit ears on that kills animals for fun. Don't want to mess with that, you know? Wait, the candle's going out. Okay. Pick this one up. Light it. Oh, we've got five matches back again as well. Oh, okay, she's there. So run. As soon as she appears, just run. I think that's it. I think what I might do, guys, is go for, like, the first three nights on this playthrough if we can. And then we'll continue in part two of like the final three nights. I'm sure there's a lot of secrets to be found with this game as well. Oh, we just got teleported. I'm wondering if the little boy with the mask is active as well because we he seemed to like be able to teleport us. That was his ability, right? Unless that's just a random thing that can occur in this game anyway. Because his mask has gone, yeah. But we have got a candle back there if we need it, so we'll, we'll remember that. Oh, yeah, he is definitely here. He is definitely in play as well. Man, this is going to be hard by 6 uh, a.m. Or I guess 5 a.m. would be like the final night because you're going to have like five characters potentially all after us at once. So far, so good. You know, I'm enjoying this game. I just feel like I may be missing something. Like perhaps I should be able to collect items during like a, a night as well. I know that you get the page at the start. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the little boy. Well, hello there, little boy. Wait, I think we made it. Is that it? No, we haven't made it. I don't know what that sort of dong sound is. I don't know what that, that sound is, but like... It seems to signify something. Maybe it's a checkpoint system or something. If this game checkpoints between sort of nights, it's a lot more generous than Five Nights at Freddy's, you know? Oh, okay. I just saw him there. Yeah, he's running after us. Let's go. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Wait a second, can we light this fire? Nope. Surely we can light the fire, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, on that basis, I'll just keep walking around in the woods, like, trying to avoid stuff. I would have liked to be able to light that fire and then just sit by it and sort of be safe. I think what we want to do here, guys, is just look... Okay, he just drops down right in front of us. Look for candles, I was going to say. There's one there, so we're going to come back for that candle in a minute. See, he disappears quite quickly. He's very easy to avoid. So I think what I'm going to do is stand around here till this candle burns right out. And then I'm going to pick up this next one. And then we'll be safe. I think the idea is just basically survive and always, like, locate candles so that you're not in complete darkness. Because the matches really don't give you enough sort of light and they go out super quick. So it's all about collecting those candles and staying alive. And I guess if we sort of get to 6am, our friends come back and they're like, oh, you survived. You survived the game of Wick. Was it worth it, though? Is this some kind of initiation into their little gang, I wonder, you know? Wait, what? She blew out the candle? Are you kidding me? 
We've only got one match left now. Okay, so if they can blow out the candle, this is going to make the game a lot trickier. Unless we can find matches as well, sort of hidden around the levels. Because if we cannot locate more matches, and we only have five per sort of hour, so to speak, then it's just going to get really hard. What's over here? Oh, this is just the remnants of the old house again. Wow, that was close. Look, there's the little boy there, and then the little girl is obviously somewhere as well. Great. We've run out of candles, and now run out of matches, I'm guessing. And I've just been teleported somewhere. This is not good, guys. This is not good at all. They're not going to stay away from me now. We're in the complete darkness. I have no candle. I have no matches. Oh, we just made it, though. That was very lucky. We were on our way back home, and we totally heard something. Totally. Like somebody sleeping. Snoring like a mother trucker. They heard somebody sleeping, okay. I'm trying to make sense of this story. 2am, local campers reported sounds of someone sleeping and loud snoring. Suggests subject was still alive and present in the woods at this time. Interview logged. Area map 5 entered into evidence. I wonder, I want to know where our evidence is. It could be on the main menu guys, so we'll take a look at the end of this video at all the evidence we have collected if that's the case. With that said, I think we'll have one more night, we'll try and do night 3. And then I'll probably end this video and we'll finish it up in part two. Right. Candle. Collected. We've got a note. This looks creepy. This one says, look away. And it's got a, something that looks very much like a Zelda enemy. <laughs> po poking its head out from behind a tree. So whenever we see him, we bas basically just avert our eyes and look away from him. We need to make sure we find more candles though, because I'm sort of really worried that we're going to run out of candles again and matches. So there's one candle at the top of this bridge always, which is here. Oh, this is a little bucket here. Jack. Oh. Does that mean that this is like a real life, well, a, re a video game rendition of Jack and Jill? Did did that happen in the, to, to some of these characters, I wonder? And I think as well, if you run, maybe the candle goes down quicker. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. I don't want any spoilers, but if you want to help me with gameplay tips, I'm open to that. But this is kind of cool, like, I just, I'm kind of freaked out we're going to walk too close. Oh, avert our eyes, I don't want to look at him. We hear that snarl, it sounds like it's the new enemy type, so we'll just look away from the trees. This candle's going out, this is not good. We need to try and locate another candle. Quick, what the heck is that? It was like a rope there guys, and we've just lost our candle. So I'm going to run over to this area because I know there's a candle over here. Quick, pick it up, light it. Oh my god, okay. That is horrible. What was... Oh, whoa. Oh. Okay. He appears, like, and, to, and sort of teleports around us. I was not ready for that. Do you guys see that, like, chair with the, like, noose hanging above it? So it seems like somebody's, like, obviously killed themselves in that house. So that's part of the story. So basically, as we explore, we unlock new parts of, like, the story through visual cues. Which is an interesting way to tell the story, sorry. I really got me that jump scare. It looks like we really need to keep exploring so we can find stuff like that. I think what I'm going to try and do as well, guys, it's is... It's getting darker. Oh. 
I'm just going to go back in his house just in case we missed something in here. No, I don't think we did. I think we got everything we could from that. No! Somebody's just blown out our candle. Sounds like a witch. That didn't sound like a child. That sounded more like a sort of cackling adult. Right, light it now. Keep looking away from that guy. Your light will wake him. What the heck does that mean? Does it mean this enemy? I can hear him, like, breathing really heavily. Ice. Sounds like he's got, like, phlegm in his throat or something. It's not very really nice. I actually need to find another candle. Wait, what's that? What is that? Well, it's obviously that new enemy, isn't it? Okay. That doesn't sound good. Guys, what the heck? Who got us? What the heck is that? I don't know what that was. Was that... That was like a big guy. That wasn't an enemy type we've encountered before, was it? And look, we've got findings now. New content available. Find all three lost items and unlock T-Bubbler's past. Right, let's have a look at findings then, guys. So it says drawings here. So obviously they're the drawings that we always get at the start of a level. Pretty hard to miss. Evidence. I don't know. I knew he wanted to scare us, but it felt too real. Like someone or something was watching us. I just didn't want anyone to get hurt. Okay, so that's obviously a woman who's played Wick before, right? It says Wick rules here, and it says one blindfold player and lock in forest. Obviously that happens. Uh, player gets candles and matches, yeah. And just survive until 6am. So basically, yeah, we're doing everything right. We just have to survive until 6am and make sure that we ration our candles and matches effectively. What else have we got? What's the big deal? It's just an old camp game. Uh, am I actually under arrest for something? Ah, so they got into trouble because people probably died in the forest doing this game. So the friends of the people who took part in this wick game obviously got accused of the murders themselves because obviously no one's going to believe in ghosts yeah, if you go to law enforcement. So what's the next one? Of course I know all the old stories. My uncle said that fire was no accident. Knew the family. Went to camp with that boy, Benny. Always preaching about twin brothers stolen in their sleep by the devil. Sure, they was coming back for him. Touched by God, as Mama always said. <laughs> but what's that got to do with you waking me up at this godforsaken hour? Cause some little shit's busted up my fence again? So that was a neighbor by the sound of it, someone who lived in the woods too. You can see in this picture, we've got all the different children that will appear. The girl with a bunny suit on, a sort of like onesie, I guess. The kid with a mask. And there's a taller kid with a pointy nose. It looks, he looks a bit like the kid from Hello Neighbor. You can see the big guy as well, who also has a mask on. He was the one that grabbed us. And he looks more like an adult. He, he doesn't look like the size of a child, unless he's a very big child. So it seems like there is one adult at play. And he's the guy that gets us, I think, if we're exposed to the dark for too long. 19 days after the tragic fire that killed a local man and his wife, police have officially called off the search for their missing children. The judge plans to continue its vigil in the hopes of a safe return for all. Okay, so we had missing children. Obviously, the children that weren't found after the house burned down. We were on our way back home, and we totally heard someone. Totally! Like somebody sleeping. Snoring like a mother trucker. Do you think it could have been some kind of animal? A bear, maybe? No way, man. There ain't been no bears in these parts for 50 years. The hunters wiped them all out years ago. Kids went missing from that old summer camp. Figured it was bears. Where did you start hearing these noises? Just past the old bridge. Just past the old bridge. Hmm, interesting guys. This story is actually getting quite good. I'm surprised. So, 
We've got one more, which is collection, and this is obviously just objects that we're collecting. Hand carved mask with horse rise and a laughing countenance. So this was belonging to a child who it seems was injured and burned badly in the fire. So he wore a mask and he says it's for when the bandages come off. But what's a bucket all about? Jack and Jill went up the hill, fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his arm. Jill came tumbling after. Oh, so it looks like somebody, like the child this belongs to, fell down the well, and that's how she came to her end. This was a rabbit skull, not a rat or a dog. Remains of a small rabbit, skull appears cracked and badly damaged. Yeah, we know about that one. I'm coming, honey bunny. Old child's toy appears homemade with many crude repairs. The letter L is monogrammed on the side. Okay, well guys, I'm going to end it there because I have been recording for about half an hour and I think even when this video is cut down a little bit, it'll still be quite long. So I think what I'm going to do is end it there and then we'll come back for probably this will end up being like a free part play for I think because I think while it is an hour long, obviously we'll probably have more deaths and we'll be looking at the evidence and stuff. So probably try and do hour three and four in the next video and then, um, you know, sort of look at the evidence we collected from those nights and then in the final video we'll do the last night and look at all the evidence we have collected thereafter. But either way I am interested in doing a full story related video to this game. It's got a really cool little story and it has surprised me in a sort of good way. So with that said, thank you for watching my playthrough today of Wick. If you have enjoyed it remember to leave a like on this video, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.